Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensah of Destin. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe for us to build the mathematics community. In this lesson, we are going to look at this um, question. Given that y equal to e to the power 2x times sine of x, so that the squared y on the x squared minus 4 times the y on the x plus 5y equal to 0. Join me as we go through this simple uh, differentiation. Now, let's look at the question in details. Here, we have y equal to e to the power 2x sine of x. We are going to use the product rule. So we have the derivative of y with respect to x equal to from the product rule. We will differentiate e to the power 2x and maintain sine x plus the derivative of sine of x times e to the power 2x. So here let us maintain sine of x times the derivative of e to the power 2x with respect to x plus e to the power 2x times the derivative of sine of x with respect to x. This is equal to, if you differentiate e to the power 2x, you get 2 times e to the power 2x. Sine of x, if you differentiate sine of x, you get cosine of x. So here we have plus e to the power 2x times cosine of x as the derivative of y with respect to x. Now, if you want to know more about how to differentiate exponential functions, check the description for that uh, video. I have uh, that video in details. Now, let's move about this one. So, we have to find the second derivative because the function that we have here contains the second derivative or the expression. Now, the squared y and the x squared is equal to the derivative of 2 times e to the power 2x times sine of x plus e to the power 2x times cosine of x with respect to x. We are going to differentiate each term by term. So for this, 2 is a constant. So you factorize 2 out and write the derivative of e to the power 2x times sine of x with respect to x plus the derivative of e to the power 2x times cosine of x with respect to x. Now, this the derivative of this is the original question. So we've done that one already. So we have this as our answer. So we are going to substitute it there straight. So this is equal to 2 times 2e to the power 2x times sine of x plus e to the power 2x times cosine of x. That's if you differentiate this, this is what you get. You've done that one already. Plus, here you are going to use the product rule. So you differentiate e to the power 2x. So you have cosine of x times the derivative of e to the power 2x with respect to x plus e to the power 2x times the derivative of cosine of x with respect to x. Very simple as that. Now, this is our d squared y on the x squared. So here, let us multiply to We have d squared y on the x squared to be equal to 4 e to the power 2x plus 2e 
to the power 2x, or here you have sine x. So let me replace with that. We have uh, d squared y on um, the x squared is equal to 4e to the power 2x sine x plus 2e to the power 2x cosine of x. That is 2 times 2 will give us 4, 2 times 1 will give us 2. Now here, if you differentiate e to the power 2x with respect to x, you get 2e to the power 2x, then we multiply it by cosine of x. Here, if we differentiate cosine of x with respect to x, we will get negative sine of x times e to the power 2x will give us minus e to the power 2x times sine of x. Wow. Now, do we have like terms that we can add or subtract? Yes. If we look at this one and this, they are like. So, what we are going to do is that if we subtract 1 from 4, we will get 3e to the power 2x sine x. And here to this and that are like. If we add, we are going to get plus 4e to the power 2x cosine of x as d squared y on the x squared. Now, we have to prove that the square y on x squared minus 4 times dy on the x plus 5y equal to 0. So, what we are going to do here is that um, our final answer does not contain this and it does not contain this one. So, what do we do? So, what as we go through the process? Now, let's come to the first derivative. Here, we can make e to the power 2x cosine x the subject. So from here, you write e to the power 2x times cosine of x to be equal to dy on dx minus 2 times e to the power 2x sine of x. We are going to replace e to the power 2x times cosine of x by this. Wow. So let's do that. Now we have the squared y on the x squared to be equal to 3 times e to the power 2x sine of x plus 4 into bracket derivative of y with respect to x minus 2 times e to the power 2x times sine of x this is the same as 3 e to the power 2x times sine of x plus 4 dy on the x minus 8 times e to the power 2x times sine of x. Now, this is equal to d squared y on the x squared. So now, I think um, we have something very simple here. This and that are like. So if we subtract 8 from 5, we have negative 5e to the power 2x times sine of x plus 4 times dy on the x equal to d squared y on the x squared. Wow, very, very nice approach. Now, what are we going to do? 
from the question, we have y to be equal to this. So here I can write this as minus 5 e to the power 2x times sine of x is equal to y. So I'll put y there. Plus 4 dy on the x is equal to the squared y on the x squared. And from here, you can rearrange to get this. So, I'm bringing all these terms to this side. So, we are going to have 0 equal to the square y on the x squared. This is positive. If it comes to the minus 4 times the y on the x, this is negative. So, if you come to this outcome, plus 5y, and that is to be shown. Very, very simple as that. So 0 equal to the squared y on the x squared minus 4 divided by x plus 5y. Or you can do it like this and you have it. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.